Creativity is an addiction. Learning to live with it, to listen to it, to build with it, and to step free of it, to create space for it to regather its thoughts. That's how you walk forward. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Stream thinking. It's learning how to trust what's in your present. To get there requires a lot of practice. But here's how you do it. One sheet of paper every day. Just 10 minutes. Write about whatever is moving through your presence of right now. No judgment, though. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. Learning how to trust what is right now. This is Stream Thinking. Today we're reading from December 10th, 2022. Being clear to oneself. Knowing how you think and what you think has a beginning. Understanding the origin isn't an easy answer because even it has a beginning. Suddenly you're living in a past that can't be changed. But being aware of how you think and why you think is extremely important to the outcome of how you express. But there's always going to be judgment waiting for you outside the walls of where you think. So let's dig even deeper. What if the judgment maker is actually you? Everything put into the making of a thought is being scrutinized by the depths of a self that not only is less forgiving, but can physically not let go of the mind, body, and soul. To be of value, to know how to do something without selling out. The first step, be truth-filled and grateful. Julia Cameron's brand new book talks about being truthful on the page. If something is deeply bothering you, put it on the paper. If something is making you go silent, then ask the questions. Being truthful is so important to your every day. You don't have to be that artist that's writing songs or putting paint on a canvas. You don't have to be that brilliant chef. You don't have to be that CEO or somebody who's leading others in a different business. Just be yourself. Be truthful. More importantly, the next step would be gratefulness. In all things that you do, be grateful for it. Because if you didn't show up that particular day, can you imagine the other lives that might not have received what it was that you brought? You may not know what you brought, but there's always an energy source that others tap into that enlightens and empowers their ability to continue moving forward. But the thing is, is that there are too many times where people walk into a circle expecting others to take from them, that they want them to tap into their knowledge of experience. Hey, do it this way. See, I think that's been one of my toughest walks. I've had more leaders of broadcasting and in other businesses that have said, no, we do it this way. And yet, when we walk into these places of business and or just places of community, we all bring something unique and different, a different sight. It's not that we want our sight to be the greater, but learning how to respect each other's visions and decisions really opens up the avenues of communication. Be filled with truth. Be filled with gratefulness. Don't stop sharing who you are Because somebody else says, no, I need you to be this person. And oh Lord, we've all been there. Where we become the shape of something else and then we wonder why we just don't feel like we fit in. Or more importantly, we know that we don't belong there. But because they have something we need, oh you know that paycheck every two weeks, we continue to grow with them doing what they want. And then after 20 or 25 years, you're going, who am I? That image in the mirror is something they created, and it's not you. Now, I'm open with you right now, and I will share with you that it took 36 years of terrestrial radio for me to understand that I wasn't getting what I dreamt of as a child in that bedroom in Billings, Montana. This dream has been a part of my life, my entire walk. But after 36 years, I began to think... Who are you? This isn't the way you really know. And that's why I'm grateful 
for whoever came up with this thing called streaming, which then led others to create podcasting. The outreach, going into other people's lives that one day you hope to meet just by sharing a thought, communicating, allowing yourself to be present, giving yourself permission to share an idea without judgment. I'm Errol, and that's Stream Thinking.